Amanil Kumar sharing with you a word problem on linear systems. The question here is, a rectangle has perimeter of 120 centimeter. Three times the width is five more than double the length. Determine the area of the rectangle. Right? You can always pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. To begin with, let's define our variables and make a sketch. Let's say this is the rectangle we are talking about. And let's consider L to be length and W to be width. Right? So we have defined the variables. So we say let, length be L and width be W. Now, a rectangle has perimeter of 120. It means what? Now, lengths plus widths, their sum should be 120. So, we can say 120, the perimeter, is twice length plus twice width. Now, from this equation, if we divide by 2, we can say 60 is length plus width. And we can write one in terms of the other. We can say 60 minus length is width, right? So we just rearrange. So from the first statement, perimeter is 120, we got our first equation. And we simplified this equation and isolated one of the variables. Now, second statement is 3 times the width is 5 more than double the length. Now, what does that mean? It says three times the width. Let's underline this. Three times the width. That means 3w. Is means equal to, right? Five more than double the length. That means if I double the length plus five. Do you understand? So that is how you can form the second equation. So it's slightly complicated at this stage when you just begin to learn linear system. 3 times the width is, is means equal to 5 more than 2, twice the length, double the length. Do you get it? So we got another equation from the second statement. Determine the area of rectangle, area is length into width. So we need to find both length and width. Perfect. So that's the second equation. What we did was, from the first we isolated a bit in the form of 60 minus L. We'll call this as derived equation number 3. And we'll sub 3 into equation 3 into. So we'll get equation in one variable. So that is to say, I'll substitute this width 60 minus L here. So what do I get? I get 3 times with the 60 minus L. So I'm substituting this, which is 60 minus L equals to twice length plus 5. Do you see that? So when we do this substitution, we eliminate one of the variables. So we have a linear equation in one variable. Correct? So now it is very easy to solve for the variable, in this case, length L. 3 times 6 is 18, 180, minus 3 times length equals to 2 times length plus 5. So let me rewrite this, putting all these variables on one side, constants on the other side, right? So we'll take 5 to the left side. I'll just transfer this here and that there. Is it okay? Or some of you can think like this. We will add 3L both sides. Is that okay? And we will take away 5 from both sides. Either way. It results into what? It results into the equation which is 180 minus 5 equals to 2L plus 3L. Perfect. 180 minus 5 is 175. 2L plus 3L is 5L. 
dividing by 5 we get length as 175 divided by 5 right so we get length as equals to 5 times goes 3 times 15 25 is 35 so length is 35 we'll call this as our equation number 4 sub 4 and 3 that is to say we can find width by substituting the value of l here right so we can say width is equal to 60 minus 35 which is 25 correct so width is 25 so we have found width and length now what is the area area is length times width which is 35 times 25 is it okay so that is what area is you can multiply and get your result right so so we have 35 times 25 which is equals to 875 the units should be since 120 is in centimeters, centimeters square, right? So we could write units here. This is in centimeters and length is also in centimeters. So the answer is 875 centimeters square. I hope the steps are clear. So the idea is when you read a question like this, sketch a diagram if possible, define variables, make equations, based on the statements uh, and then you could use substitution or elimination method to evaluate or to calculate the variables and find the final answer i am anil kumar and i hope that helps you can like the videos share them with your friends and post questions thank you and all the best